What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and for sure some of you will already know about the changes that have been made to the artifacts within the Rise of Iron but some of you won't and I believe it's a duty I have to keep you guys covered and all news that comes. Although it wasn't news I rushed into with a few other details which I haven't covered yet but definitely will, I do feel I should cover it as it is a massive game changer. Now while most are unside with these artifacts and the way they change the game, some do think they are game breakers, especially for PvP. In this video we will go through exactly what these new artifacts do and I will give you guys my opinion on them. By the way this info comes from Game Informer's latest article and I am quoting them right now. Artifacts were introduced to the game last year as another way to customise your guardian but the implementation fell short of the mark. Many players complained that artifacts did little to justify their existence and the stat boost provided could have easily been rolled into other gear. Now jump ahead to the Rise of Iron and the artifact slot on your character sheet enacts one of the biggest shifts in gameplay, acting as a prime example of how Rise of Iron increases playstyle choice. Eight new classic Gnostic artifacts take centre stage. While each one still provides some minor perks and significant stat boosts, each also bestows a game changing power on your guardian. These powers are independent of any single subclass or exotic perk, but they're also built to allow endless experimentation in combination with other aspects of your build. Bungie State, the goal for us was to add a new element to the sandbox to player abilities that they could then mix and match to create different loadouts. On top of that Bungie State, that they thought it would be cool to have multiple ones. By the end you'll have this new thing in your toolbox, 8 unique abilities that can pair with any of your characters. Every one of these artifacts ties its gameplay modifier to the lore of the character in which it's named. Any time you take an item from the game and wrap it within the fiction, it makes it more meaningful and more part of the world. They wanted the artifacts to support understanding of the different Iron Lords. Okay, so there are eight new artifacts. Let's take a look at what they do. The first is called Memory of Radagast. Check out this thing's ability once equipped. It allows players who are using that heavy weapon sword to reflect basically all incoming fire from auger blasts to rockets in Crucible, that's just nuts. Imagine the fun you can have reflecting an enemy's rocket back into them. Absolutely crazy. Next up we have the Memory of Piran. Equipping this gives you the ability to see enemies with full supers highlighted in yellow, while enemies with low health highlighted in red for easy targeting. You can kind of see the point of PvP players not liking the direction these are going in. Next up we have the Memory of Jorda. Now wearing her artifact gives you it states something us guardians have wanted since launch. The ability to completely eliminate sprint cooldown. Now I honestly thought this was a glitch and I called it sprint lock. Obviously not and now if it pisses you off you can get rid of it completely. Next up we have Memory of Selimar. Check out this thing's ability. It dramatically reduces any damage inflicted through damage over time, DOT effects, and with weapons like the Fawn returning, this could be indeed something we see a lot of players using. Next up we have the Memory of Falwinter. Now without even looking, I guess this gives the ability to make every single shotgun in the game turn into a sniper. Am I wrong? Let's take a look. Yes I am, I thought so, but damn, look what it actually does. Lose your super and gain an extra grenade and melee charge, a boost to all your stats and orbs recharge your grenade and melee abilities. Like damn, wow, that is a game changer for sure, it really is. Next up we have the memory of Gillian. So the ability on this artifact basically gives you third eye on any primary weapon, allowing radar to stay on screen when aiming. Next up we have memory of Scurry. Wearing this artifact speeds up the supercharge of nearby allies. Next up we have Memory of Timur. This artifact transforms your melee attack, giving it the chance to turn low power minions of the darkness into allies. These enemy creatures fight at your side, turning their weapons on confused fellow allies. Another melee a few seconds later puts them back in their right mind, or the effect expires after 30 seconds. So the eight artifacts mentioned do indeed offer some real interesting changes in gameplay. In a way I can kinda of understand why PvP players might be annoyed, but hey, changes sooner or later were going to be made. 
and in a big way and here you have it me personally i think they sound fun and the experimentation i will be able to do is another thing i look forward to now in the article there is another artifact which is covered with a question mark it's called the survivors it reads only eight iron lords who fell at when sealing away siva have their own named artifacts but can you players know that two more heroes once stood at their side saladin is the most familiar but he hosted the iron banner to hone the light of new guardians and prepared them for the threat of siva's re-emergence but the sniper named Ephrodi also may have survived as she has no statue in the mausoleum Bungie won't be waiting long before exploring the mystery of her disappearance. So with these artifacts come extra story for us to explore and figure out secrets in searching for the disappearance of Ephrodi. This sounds absolutely epic in my opinion and I cannot wait for it. But guys there you have it, all known info on the new and improved artifacts coming with the Rise of Iron. Let me know what you think about these down below and as always guys, hope you enjoyed the video, do hit that like button, it really does help out and I will catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong. Stay.